Hey guys, so I'm going to be doing some Bacillus thuringiensis, what Southern Ag calls thericide, and I'm going to spray this around the garden to control our caterpillars. This is a biologic insecticide, so what it does is it rots the caterpillars' stomachs from the inside out. It is organic. OMRI certified, safe to spray any time of day. There is no hazard to bees with the BETs, so we are good to go and kill those pesky little caterpillars that I hate so much that eat our buds and turn them into black mold. You stupid little bastards. We're gonna get them. All right, so I'm gonna mix up this I have a quart spray bottle here, and I will be putting one teaspoon of the Thuricide BT into this 32 uh, ounce container and spray it around. Let's do it. Once you have your teaspoon in your quart spray bottle, make sure you shake it up really, really, really well to get it mixed up to spray. So just like the neem oil, you're going to want to come around and spray your entire garden, get it nice and wet, so the Bacillus thuringiensis sticks to the leaves, so when the caterpillars come and eat the leaves, they ingest the bacteria and rot from the inside out. So just go around your whole garden, spray away. See that guys? That was a butterfly or moth that just flew out. Exactly what we're trying to get. Gotta get these weeds out of here. I've been tending to the urban garden, but I haven't been tending to the outer urban garden. Gotta get on top of that. So this product can be sprayed on your fruits and vegetables all the way up till day of harvest with no harmful effects to humans. Now on your cannabis, you can only spray it up to flower. Do not spray it on your flower. So there you have it guys. Spraying around a little bit of the Bacillus thuringiensis to take care of our caterpillars. Your worst enemy of your cannabis. Your caterpillars. So get yourself some Bacillus thuringiensis. Spray it all the way up till flower. And good luck outdoors, guys. This is the challenge. This is why I became Urban Gardener. Is I grew indoor for over 20 years. I finally got tired of paying all the energy bills and dealing with the heating issues. Now we have the cool lights, of course, so now it's trying to get your garden hot enough indoors in some places. I did do a small run indoor last season, and my biggest problem was actually keeping the room hot enough because I was growing under LEDs. Anyway, keep happy, stay stoned, and urban garden.